In this video, we will be teaching you how to properly use the autoclave. So, some three key things you want to remember before you even start to use the autoclave. One, make sure there's enough water in the autoclave. And there's a max and a min, the line you can see there. And you just want to make sure that the water line is between those two. Always use a tray. So when you put some, some liquids in there, you want to make sure there's a tray so the water or the contaminated liquid doesn't go back into the system of the autoclave. And also, if you're putting a um, screw cap bottle or a media bottle into the autoclave, make sure it's not tightened. Make sure it's loose so that it doesn't explode. Because the autoclave is a high pressure device. Okay. Now we're going to go over a step-by-step -step process of how to use the autoclave. So before starting the autoclave, make sure to check that the water line is between the min and the max. You can see where the, the gray stick is at the top of the autoclave. And if there isn't enough, just get some deionized water, like I said before, and just add it to that. Um, make sure before you start, also put a tray in the autoclave to collect any extra liquids that might overflow from your containers. This is not a tray that you'd want to use, but this is the only one we can find right now. Um, put your stuff in the tray, whatever you want to autoclave, whether it's trash or um, LP. Close the autoclave door. Tighten the handle until the door close light comes on. And then after that, you want to tighten it another a half, one and a half turns or so, just to make sure it's tight. Um, then you can press whatever uh, button matches your protocol. And you want to wait a minute or so after the, after the um, autoclave starts just to make sure that there are no problems with it. And then after it's done, you want to wait until the inter internal temperature of the autoclave is about 50 degrees Celsius or so because you don't want to burn yourself. And then after you're done also, you want to clean the tray if there's any um, liquids that fell out of your container.